Hi guys, welcome to your reading. So Spirit's wanting to, you to know that it's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. So this is the first card that's came up. We also have the Seven of Cups, Temperance card, and the Nine of Wands. So I feel like you've got your defenses off about something. You might be stuck in um, making a choice, but you're being asked to allow the Divine to work with you to come... Uh... Yeah, so we've got the Seven of Cups. So it's like you're trying to make a decision about something. Um, 32 on the clock, so there's something, uh, some sort of change that's coming, but you're not sure how to move forward. Um, the Temperance card is saying to, you might be creating something new with the two opposing, like the sun and the moon, that's two opposing um, polar opposites, right? And then you've got the Nine of Wands. But there's something that feels like a hurdle, but if you look, if you look at her, um, this, these sticks, like she could easily just, you know, take a step and flip it over, you know? <laughs> so you've got your defenses up about something, so let's take a look at what that is. So can you tell us more please about the Seven of Cups spirit? It's like feeling really indecisive. There's some sort of fluttery feeling in, in the heart and the chest area like you're afraid to take a step forward in case you make the wrong one. High Priestess, you are the High Priestess. So trust your intuition, trust your guidance, maybe meditate, get some get some quiet time to to really um, receive those messages from the divine, to um, get really clear instructions. Maybe you're even doubting that you are the high priestess or the high priest. You're not really sure of what you've come to do. Maybe you you are a high priestess. You are a high priest. You are a mystic. You're a seer. You you have some kind of spiritual connection and maybe you you spent some time doubting this so there could be a need to um, just spend some time playing with this energy and just ask ask your guides to help you train or help you practice trusting that you know you got this <laughs> i feel like um there's a lot of people the energy that I've, of who i'm speaking to today 233 on the clock is you have these skills, but they're not quite fully tapped into yet. So there's um, just a matter of practicing and getting used to, growing accustomed to what you can do and who you are. Who you are, I think, is the key here. You have a message to share with the world. And it comes from the Divine, Page of Swords. But you're just trying to decide where to go, who to share it with. Maybe you're looking to, um, you're not sure what platform to go towards, or maybe you're not sure of how to package up the message that you have, or maybe you need more information. You need to um, check in with, with, the, with spirit and find out, get that guidance. So the clarity will come when you Three through three on the clock, yeah. So the clarity will come when you check in with spirit. And I feel that um, it's something that needs to be done regularly so that you can build that trust, build that confidence. So, you know, if you're meditating kind of sporadically, like once a week, a couple times a month, it's, it's really hard to build that confidence and that trust in your spirit team um, if it's not a regular thing. So regular... Uh, connection daily is what I'm hearing. Nine of Wands, please. Something about the solar plexus there. There's something from the solar plexus. So solar plexus is like confidence. Um, I'm hearing optimism. Eight of Cups. So you might have had to walk away from something and so now you you might have had to walk away from something and you, you were following your intuition but maybe you're actually waiting to see if that was the right thing to do can you tell us more about the high priestess please what do we need to know about the high priestess I just heard drop it like it's hard. I <laughs> don't know what that means. 
Was that mean spirit? <laughs> Maybe stop trying to work it out. Stop trying to figure it out. Just let, let the divine help you. Let the answers come to you rather than trying to seek them out. King of Swords. You're already, you're already embodying the truth. So you don't actually need to hum and har about what, like trust, trust that whatever, whatever your intuition is telling you, trust that it, it is on. So you're actually more intuitive than you realize. And it's just a matter of trusting that. I feel like a lot of you were told or you were in situations for a lot of your life that someone particular you had a, a, a boyfriend or a partner who kind of made you doubt 555 on the clock that might be a situation you're currently in but um, yeah you're 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 on it you trust your intuition and when okay so the king of swords is actually telling me to uh, you're you're embodying your clear your clear, clear sentience you're embodying the intuitive messages by way of all the clear senses. You're not just you're not just receiving messages through your third eye. You're not just receiving them through clear audience. You're actually you're all of them. So all of you is telling you the truth. But if you you know if we don't if we shut that voice down six three nine on the clock. If we shut that voice down, then it'll be like okay, well if you don't want to hear it, <laughs> um, page of Swords, please. I just heard you are a bringer of truth. You are a bringer of truth. That's powerful stuff. You are already in this high priestess, king of swords energy. You already embody these psychic senses. So you don't have to... Like, you have all the answers. All the answers are constantly displayed out in front of you. Like as soon as something happens, you have this instant, instantaneous kind of knowing. So maybe you're just, wow, well, five of five of pentacles. Excuse me. Yep. Yeah, so, what's keeping you from sharing your truth is that you don't you don't believe in yourself enough, and there is, well, I don't want to say there's no reason why you you know, shouldn't believe in yourself because experiences do contribute to how we feel about ourselves right um, but you know uh, you're the high priestess and the king of swords maybe you don't think that people will want to hear what you have to say eight of cups please thank you the empress so it might just be a time of you know pulling you might need to just pull yourself back from um i'm hearing pull yourself back from opinionated people loud loud opinionated people so that you can yeah and just move away so that like put your boundaries up just for a time so that you can start to really connect with your intuition so yeah with the we've got the nine of wands just in order to light that fire that you're already holding uh, in, within yourself, just put some temporary boundaries up, 8.53 on the clock, so that, and just walk away from turbulent situations. Just take some space, take some space for yourself. Like kind of, I'm seeing this guy going on a bit of a pilgrimage, like a little bit of a solo retreat, maybe um, like a silent meditation week or a weekend. Or, and I'm feeling like this will be a little bit longer than a weekend it'll be um, for some of you it could be just a weekend but for the most part this is like a kind of a journey that you are being asked to kind of go on so that you can really see your you can learn to hear your voice and learn to hear the voice of your guides and just take take care of yourself there might be some recovery like a emotional recovery period where you're just learning to um, because the Empress card is quite a big card it's a major arcana so um, and that's the, that and the High Priestess and the Temperance card, right? So those, these cards are all saying just allow, like take some space, allow the Divine to, allow Source, God, Spirit to, to show you who you are. 
but you've got to turn the noise down, right? So um, turn the noise, the, all the external noise around you, you've got to turn all that down. And once you have really connected with yourself and you, you can actually hear your voice instead of hearing all these other opinions, um, hearing what other people are projecting onto you, you kind of like clearing out your energy. There may be a need to actually cut some cords, um, release some people from your life, but for the time being, um, you know, if you need to just say to people, I'm just having, having some time off for myself, going on a solo vacation or whatever, and just take some time and get to know your own inner voice for, for a period of time there. So can we get some final messages here, Ashley? Can you tell us more about the first pile here? I'm also hearing a message that you shouldn't have to scream to be heard. You shouldn't have to shout over everyone else to be heard. 11, 11 on the clock. So the people who will value what you have to offer and and the, the messages that you are ready to share, the ones that you are designated to share, those people will come to you and you'll be led to them as well. So there's this, um, I guess like stepping back and just reconnecting with yourself, 11.44 on the clock, and just allowing everything else to fall into place where needed. Yeah, intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers you seek. So that's on top of the High Priestess and the King of Swords. So while you might have been doubting with the Seven of Cups, um, there might have been some doubt there, you know, not, not sure which option to pick or, you know, what's right for you. Trust your intuition. <laughs> what's for the second pile? Five of Pentacles. And... So this is really just a validating... Um, a validating read for you guys celebration celebrate your achievements you truly are a gift to the universe how beautiful so while you might feel like you're in this five of pentacles energy where you maybe not feeling like you're good enough maybe you're not feeling like you know people will want to hear your message um, you have been divinely chosen to share that particular message and you're being asked to even if no one else is to for you to celebrate what you have achieved celebrate yourself and you know once you you do the internal transformation around that it'll actually start to reflect but people people only respond to what energy you give out right it's all about frequency so we've got two more cards stillness reflect on this moment with love kindness and compassion and then we also have patience be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace Okay, so that's that Empress energy, just taking some time away and just being being still, um, having the patience to to wait on God, wait on spirit, wait on the, the right things to come to you. Now the the right time to move, the right time to um, go where you're led. But it is time to reveal your radiant light to the world. And I can see all those who are listening, I can see you as your like I can see you on the spirit side and you guys are all beautiful bright lights you are all shining stars and um, you're a shining star no matter who you are shining bright to see what you can truly be so it's time to reveal your radiant light to, to the world oh I got chills then you guys are beautiful lights and I can't wait to see um, what you guys bring forward to to the world to help us on this beautiful journey that we're on Thank you so much for being here today, guys. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe if this resonated for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.